The first day that I worked at McDonald's, they had me working on the french fries. That was the first thing they taught me. And to be honest with you, I was pretty nervous. I was pretty angsty. I don't know if I was going to be fast enough. I was going to be able to keep up with everything else. I don't know what the chaos was going to be like. I was, you know, pretty frightened, to be honest with you. And what I'm trying to tell you right now is that it's going to feel like that for anything you do in life. Any new job, any new career, any new class, any new thing you want to try out. Even if you want to learn how to play a new game, whether it's a board game or a video game, you're going to come at a point where starting out at the beginning as a novice, you're going to feel you know, pretty stuck. You're going to feel like maybe you won't do well. And the reason for this tutorial is I want to show you how to use Crew AI but I want you to watch this specifically if you have absolutely no experience programming, coding with computer science, because I know you've heard about AI and you've probably tried watching other videos, you're really interested in it, but man, I know it can seem like a drag to start from the beginning. If you watched any other tutorials on AI, I'm sure you've heard that you gotta learn about machine learning. I'm sure you've heard that you gotta learn about Python and data science and all these other tools. And to be honest with you, while all those parts are important, I think right now more than ever, it's gonna be crucial for you to learn and then practice what you're learning and try to study it and try to learn it after the fact. But I don't want you to go and buy a textbook, take a class, wait another year before you actually start using AI. So today we're not even gonna set anything up, we're not gonna code anything. Today is just gonna be about the mindset that you're gonna take moving forward with this tutorial, right? These are gonna be a series of short videos where we're gonna start from scratch, we're not gonna use any technical jargon, and if there are things that you know you run into, which of course they're all gonna be new things, they're all gonna be things you don't understand right off the bat, you're more than welcome to do your research on them after we finish the, with these project. But at the end of the day, when it comes to technology, when it comes to programming, when it comes to data science, AI, anything in the technology field, you're going to learn more by doing and then looking into it afterwards, right? You don't want to memorize a textbook and then start programming after that. So here's what we're going to talk about. Crew AI, I know you've heard of it. I know you've heard about it. You've been curious about it because you know about ChatGPT and you know that it and you know that there's this more advanced technology which you can use multiple agents and that's all the rage right now and again i emphasize don't wait don't try to learn python first don't try to get into machine learning we're going to cover this from scratch we're going to pretend that this is a brand new computer we're going to pretend you don't have anything installed on here and we'll take it one step at a time so here are the main things that we'll be covering in the next few videos first of all on the korea website what's going to happen is you're going to run into you know, this page, it talks about the documentation. So you run into the documentation. When you start reading up on it, you see that, okay, they have some very organized things. You look into the examples. And then if you're in a program, you're gonna come across this page. I know this happened to me before I even started my coding, my software engineering career. And you're just gonna get very overwhelmed by all these files. What is this page? How do I install it? Where do I download it? All these other questions, right? There are some tools you need in order to run this. What's called this repository is free for you to run this code that they made for Korea, but you do need a certain set of tools that you need to install beforehand. Now, if you've seen and you looked into some of the other Korea tutorials, a lot of the assumptions that goes into this is that you've programmed before, you've downloaded these things before, and that you have most of those tools installed. So what we're gonna cover in this video or in these next few videos is not just how to install and set it up, but we're gonna cover from scratch, from you know your very first code editor, we're gonna use Visual Studio Code. We're gonna install Git, that's gonna help you install packages. Then we're gonna show you how to basically download this to your computer with what are the Crew AI examples. We're gonna walk through the installation that you need to have in order to be able to run this program. Now, that may seem simple, and it is, but like I said, my goal for this is to be as beginner friendly as possible. I don't care if you've never written a single line of code. I don't care if you, you know, when you hear these tool names, they don't mean anything to you. That's perfectly fine. The goal here is going to be to get you from point A to B. Because I feel like another thing that happens is people that are very interested in technology, people that would do very well in technology, sometimes just completely, you know, they take themselves off the list of even trying because when they start, something that happens with a lot of these projects is sometimes starting them out can be a little frustrating. That barrier of entry to just get your environment set up, to get all the tools you need set up, can feel a little bit overwhelming at first, especially if you're starting out. So what happens is as people approach this challenge with that mindset of, well, you know, this is just the beginning and sorry, very difficult. It's only gonna get more difficult from here, so I should just stop at this point. That's the wrong mindset to take on that because in programming, in software development, in AI, there's always gonna be those little challenges of that initial setup and that only happens 
happens because there's so many different tools, there's so many different programming languages, there's so many different packages, there's so many different f- frameworks. So in many ways, you're always going to be in this constant journey of learning how to do things a different way, learning how to do things with different technologies. So again, the goal here is to get you from point A to point B. Point A being you've never programmed anything, you've never worked with any of these tools. Point B is you're at a point where you walk through a whole environment set up and it's related to one of the most recent, most groundbreaking technologies, that being AI and one of the newer tools that are being worked on, which is Screw AI, right? Which lets you use multiple AI agents. And again, we're not going to get into all that. If you've heard of it and you've tried some tutorials, maybe you just got a little overwhelmed, this video is going to be perfect for you. So we're going to get started on that in the coming days. I think if you're watching, I do hope you're very excited about this. And again, I'm going to make it as easy as possible. I'll leave documents for the installations on the description. I'll send you links to other tutorials if you need them. But again, the goal is that you're able to get to a starting point. Thank you for watching and I'm excited for this tutorial with you.